Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is my friend John. And How's it going? This is a very special week here. Uh, John is in town here and we are officially launching the new Master Series P47 model. But also, this is the week where Flight Fest is going on. And if you guys know anything about Flight Fest, that's where people from all over the country and even the world come to Malvern, Ohio. And about 6,700 people, 1,000 plus pilots, build, fly, and create the most crazy contraptions. So we thought, what better opportunity would we have than to actually build something crazy our own and supersize the newest release, the P-47. And that's exactly what John is doing now. So this all started basically from a text message, right? That's all right. What do you want to do? And we wanted to make this monster, and you did this in under a day. All I did was I took the, the plans for the P-47 and I upscaled them uh, by 186%. I did change things just a little bit. Instead of using monster foam up here, I went ahead and used the thin foam. It seemed to work a little bit oh, yeah. better and keep it lighter. For the most part, it was just a matter of just upscaling it. Yeah. by 186 across the board. It was pretty handy. So if you guys haven't heard much about this concept of monster foam or notice that we're building some really big models, we basically have a new foam coming out with partnering with Adam's Ready Board where we can actually have a thicker foam that's stronger and all you need to do to build something huge is upsize it by about 185 to 186%. What John is doing, which is so cool, is you don't need that thick foam, especially on the rounded surfaces. The thin foam is super solid as it is. Mm -hmm. So he's using that to be able to form the rounds, but all the internal structure is made from the more rigid and the stronger materials along with things like the bottoms of the wing, right? Correct. Awesome. <laughs> if you look over here, we have Anders building a monster-sized Kraken. He's going to be putting that up in combat. We're going to be knocking out the P-47 and then we're going to go to Flight Fest and fly these. My son Jesse, he's over there. Mm -hmm. We came to Flight Fest as a father and son trip a year ago this week. He's wanted to come and fly drones, but there were a limited number of frequencies available, so he wasn't going to get much time flying. He said, damn. You built a plane? Yeah, so we, we uh, built this horrible plane. It was terrible. It took us two days to get, get the thing to fly. We finally got it up in the air, and then we went to combat. How many times did we go into combat? Six times? Yes, six All right, so we took it into combat about six times. Once we got home, uh, we ordered a bunch of foam, and now this. <laughs> now, and now, now you're designing, this, right. designing giant P-47s and kits that other people can build on, fl right. on flight tests, which is crazy. So as we mentioned before, the new P-47 Master Series is now available. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with our speedboat kits, we put out roughly one new design a month here. And these are things that can be built from common, simple materials, or you can cut your time in half by simply buying our speedboat kit, supporting us, but also get everything you need in one package. So we're taking things up to a whole nother level by pushing the limits with building this monster P-47. But what we're really excited about is you guys can repeat this experience with a very approachable plane that looks like an advanced flyer, but it's made with common, simple materials, and it's also incredibly easy to fly. We have a couple of the smaller P-47s. You guys may notice them flying and dropping rubber ducks in our battleship episode, but we're going to go ahead and go big, go large, bring all this to Flight Fest and have some fun. When I was a kid, I was always making planes. And so as I got older, uh, my teenage years, I just continued to make more and more complex planes. And you know, once I got went to college, got married, I kind of got away from it for a while. And uh, one day we took a trip up to Canada. It was pouring rain, and so I decided, hey, there's a bunch of soda cans laying around. And so I started building planes, and, and the planes actually had some shape to them, and they had some contour and stuff like that. And so I was able to kind of make them 3D. I did that for about a year, year and a half or so. And a couple years ago, I started doing metal work, where I really started being able to get in and form metal in ways that I hadn't before. So drawing from those three specific skill sets, I was able to go ahead and apply those to foam, and foam is a joy to work with. You know, with anything else um, I've done recently, the planes would take months and months, and it was awful. These, I can put something together in 24 or 48 hours. I really like the speed. I really like how fast foam goes together. I just really like the finished product, and they fly. <laughs> Nothing else I make really flew. <laughs> These fly great. If it's a Monster Series or even a Master Series, that you're building and you're molding these things, stock up on the blue tape, it is incredible. We want to make sure that the seams look really nice and clean. Once we apply glue to the seam, we put everything together, nothing wants to stay where it's supposed to, so the more tape you can add, the better. With these Master Series, you cannot be impatient. It's all dependent on the glue drying, so rather than trying to, to wait there and hold it and think maybe it's dry and not have it be dry, Tape is a must. You can actually tape it, you can walk away, and you really don't pull this off until the very end when the whole model's completed. He builds and I fly. When I try to build, nah, I don't know what's gonna happen. It, it never ends up looking good. I'm able to fly all his crazy contraptions most of the time, but sometimes it just ends up 
in the ground, in the grass, in a tree. It happens. When he tries to fly, it always ends up in a tree. So I do my job, he does his job, and that's how it works. The very first plane I flew was a little Spectrum Spitfire, a little park zone, little tiny thing. And we just took that thing out. I had no idea how to fly it. It just went straight up and straight down, broke the wing. And after the Spitfire, I got another little cheap $40 one. And then I went to Flight Fest 2018 in Ohio. And me and my dad built our first plane. Didn't fly good, didn't look good, but it survived six comments. Combats, and it's still at our shop and we can still fly it if we put an hour of effort into it, but it's fun. If a person has never worked with foam, just get in there and just try something. Everybody's got their own style. If you think there's a better way to do something, that might actually work out. It may not work out, but uh, the good thing with foam is it's cheap. So don't be afraid to try new stuff, whether you're the type that wants to study what everybody's done, or if you're the type that just wants to go out and blaze new trails, do it. We are rocking along. So check this out. Look at the size of this wing. Dang. It's ridiculous. It's like a surfboard. Got these little control horns we're gonna mount, and I'm gonna double them up. I'm a little worried that if we just go with one layer that, that they're gonna break. So I'm gonna mount these. I'm gonna go ahead and mount servos. And then I gotta drop a couple servos right here and here. One's gonna be for the elevator, one's gonna be for the rudder. For power, we're gonna use the Flight Test Monster Motor. I'm not 100% sure what battery we're gonna use. Uh, that's really gonna be kind of determined by how much weight we need up front. So we may get a small battery, we may have to put a giant battery in here. Time will tell. So we're getting the small P47s all set up. One really cool thing about this is wing loading really defines experience. So generally when you get things bigger, they fly better, they fly easier. But the cool thing about our foam board is because even though these are smaller, they give you the reward of flying a much bigger airplane because it's light, the wing loading's light. It's gonna be really nice in the air, it's gonna fly great, plus you can fit it in your car. A really cool thing also about smaller lighter airplanes is less mass means less damage when you hit the ground. Now if you guys can build the small one, the same process is for the big one, which is really cool, which means you guys can grow with your hobby, but also also not be intimidated about the build in the future. We're gonna run a couple 3300 Luminaire batteries. Uh, these are four cells. We're gonna run them in parallel. We're gonna see if this will balance things out. It's not gonna take a whole lot. So we've got a parallel cable floating around here somewhere and we're gonna drop it in, check CG, and <laughs> yeah, we're gonna throw it up in the air. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not flying. <laughs> Josh drew the short straw. <laughs> so John, is it safe to say, like the pace you went, you can build the big one just as fast as you can build the small one? Mm -hmm. I believe so. There's just a couple extra parts on the larger yeah. one, but they're they're pretty minor, so it, it goes really fast, just like the small ones. Nice. Earlier on when we were trying out stuff with Monster Foam, we were trying to actually build a Corsair out of Monster Foam, and it was just clearly, it's, it's incredibly strong and fairly rigid stuff. You can form it, but not super tight. The way that you actually took the top skin of the wing and the fuselage, it made this plane ridiculously light, but also much easier to build. Trying to form the the monster foam, yeah, it was awful. I was in your basement crying. Yeah, <laughs> my fingers are killing me. So yeah, we went with the thin foam. It's fantastic. All right, so we're out here at Ready Board Runway. We're gonna put the two smaller P47s, the actual original ones, which are quite large still. Yeah. Uh, in the air, Jesse and Andres are gonna be flying that. We're gonna form up, we're gonna have some fun, and then we're gonna see if Big Bertha here can fly. Alrighty guys, let's fly some uh, Warbird. All right, which one are you flying? I'm flying the little You're mini one. the quad, one. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready when you guys are. Oh, that was way more uh, beautiful than when we flew these with the battleship. <laughs> so are these the maidens of a lot of these? Uh, uh, this is the second flight. Second flight? A boat. So a little bit of trimming going on here. Yep. Yeah. New radio setup. So these are about 54 inch wingspans. When we're saying the smaller P47s, there's nothing small about that. It's big enough to fit in your car, but at the same time, the presence in the air and the speed, it's just perfect to look scale. 
So what do you guys say that we put the big monster in and see if I can group up with you guys? All right, dude. Yeah. Good luck, man. <laughs> uh, cool thing. I'm flying this off of a four cell. The same voltage that these small ones are flying, I'm flying the big one with a 20-inch prop. All right, John. We ready? Oh, my God. I'm not ready. I'm not. I'm not. Just give me a launch just straight out, okay? Right, left, up, down. Just making sure. Give it a, just a little out towards ready made. Or ready, ready made. Ready? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my. Well, there's that. That was uneventful. <laughs> I'll take uneventful. Look at the size of it. How's it feel, Josh? It's, it's good. I just got to give some trimming. A little bit of nose down, and she is hands off. John, nice. awesome work, awesome dude. Awesome work, John. <laughs> that thing looks so slow. That's awesome. I love it. I'm, I'm cruising a half throttle. It's perfect. And and the fact that you're running it off a four cell. Yes. That's crazy. One of the visions with the monsters, we wanted to give people a big size, great building experience, great flying experience without the expense. And four cell batteries are affordable. And you can see like the scale performance on it. It looks right. Uh, it looks like a real warbird. <laughs> <laughs> So the thing I like about that speed is like, if you ever go to an air show and see real warbirds, they're big lumbering giants in the yeah. sky. They're not, they don't look super fast. They actually look slow kind of in the air. And that's how these look in the air. So it's a super great speed. Typically when you see scale monstrous airplanes are flying hundred miles an hour. And although that's cool for speed, it's not really scale. And also they can't handle the slower speed, which means you gotta have a big area, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, carnage, I guess you can say when bad things happen. These monsters here, the slower they go, the more of a presence they put in the air, and the more you can fly with your friends that have the smaller planes, just like you're seeing right now. <laughs> this is amazing! All right, what do you guys say we do a nice little pass? You down? Yeah, that's yeah. good. Well, this makes my heart happy. I think in the future, we're gonna see so many awesome people in the community building these things. And literally, if you had to get an airplane this size, ARF or kit built, you're gonna be talking over $1,000. We wanted to see these things come in under 500, especially under 300 if possible. This is exactly in that range and you can't you can't buy this presence that you get right now i love the sound it, of that huge prop it looks like a rubber band powered airplane you know just just coming through the air you guys want to try i don't know if i have the throws but do you want to go up a little bit i want to do a roll because yeah, barrel sure, rolls yeah. are kind of an iconic world war ii maneuver right yeah let's do it all right flight fest is just a couple days away here and i really want to save this for flight fest so i don't want to do anything too sketchy let's go ahead and go away from the sun we'll do 180s okay and then we'll do all do a uh, a nice big roll together all right. Hopefully I'll do a roll. We'll see. All right. You guys ready? Warming yep. up. I'm going to roll to the left. Three, two, one. Roll. Whee! Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nice. That was awesome, dude. Oh, my goodness. It weighs. I think this is easier to fly than a lot of the smaller airplanes. It's just the presence is awesome. You think it could do inverted? Oh, yeah, I got the throws way dialed back, but we could try. At least just kind of feel it out. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta push it, right? All right, here's one, rolling upside down, and we are there. There's inverted. Nice, I'm just gonna oh my continue gosh. the roll. Oh my god. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> awesome, dude. Can you guys feel the turbulence from being behind me? <laughs> I feel like it's a big tugboat in the air. <laughs> Jug boat. Jug boat. <laughs> That's great. All right, I'm gonna do another big, big, Roll, ready? Three, two, one, pitch up. Whee! <laughs> so slow. <laughs> you wanna see how low we can go, guys? I probably should sure. land here shortly. I don't know how much battery we have. Cool thing, a half throttle, we're under 50 amps. So it's just incredibly wow. efficient. Dude, it's so cool. We're just cruising over the trees with this huge. Oh, dang, dude, that was so close. Whoa. I'm trying. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> crazy. Oh, I am out. Uh-oh. I'm playing on the low side. You're running on fumes. Yeah, well, maybe I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, you gonna bring it in for a landing? Yeah. All right, here it comes. Hopefully I accept this approach okay. P-47 running on fumes, I'm coming so in for landing. I'm so used to the landing. scale of the, everything with the, uh, with the trees, but this monster throws everything out the window. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> that was good! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good.
Well, now you have the size comparison. Yep. Awesome job, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome job, yeah, Andrew. Nice. Oh, great work. Nice, dude. That Man. was awesome. John, what do you think? You you designed these. You created these. Yes. <laughs> this is incredible. Unreal. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. So if you guys haven't checked out some of our other planes, John helped us design what? The Corsair. The Corsair. Now the P-47. There's a lot of Tr cool ones coming down the pipe. Truth be told, keep watching our videos. Subscribe. Look in the background because John is designing these things so quickly. We are oftentimes having stockpiled, so you get a good glimpse of what's coming for the months and possibly even years ahead. But this is called the Master Series. You mold things together instead of fold things together. It's not complicated. It runs off the same basic techniques that once you learn it, you can basically grow with that and have a great experience and also a great flying experience. Yeah. So guys, we got Flight Fest coming up. Actually, uh, tomorrow Flight yep. Fest starts and we got to get these planes ready to be flying at the event. If you guys want to see a video about Flight Fest, you can check that out here. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. And uh, I want to go fly some. Let's, check the Let's yeah. go. <laughs>